Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profitech Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress plugin dial-up material using boilerplate. This is our part 10. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about get call and get results method of WPDB object. Inside last video session guys, we had seen about the basic concept of WPDB object, its class file, as well as we had discussed some methods like get where and get row. So I strongly suggest you guys before watching this video, please go through part number 9 and understand about WPDB object. Now inside this video, we are going to discuss about WPDB call method as well as get results method. So the name itself clears that we are going to get actually get all the column values of a particular table. So here is the definition called get call method is useful to get one column from a query. The output of this function is an array. What basically means by the help of this statement, if I back to table structure, go to table and let's say that if I go inside WP post table and as we know that this is the table basically used to store all types of post what actually we are going to create or create it inside this WordPress setup. So inside this, let's say that we have some post title like hello world, sample page, privacy policy and so on. So we want to get all the column values means a particular column value. So all the value of this post title if we want to get then better to use about get call method. Back to editor. Now if I make comment of all these lines and let's say that if we want to get the particular column values so here I'm going to use let's say post underscore titles and here we need to use called WPDB and in the last video we had discussed that if we want to use this global object then firstly we need to load that. So this is the loading of this object and here we are going to use that so WPDB get underscore call and inside this we can pass our query. So here we can write let's say select something post underscore title from WP underscore post table. If I check about the table name, this is the table name and we want to select all the post title. It means particularly a column value. Now let's say echo. I'm using PRE tag to format that and let's print a and inside this let's say post titles save these changes back to browser reload this page and the output will be returned in array format as we had seen inside its means its definition so if someone asks that if we want to get a specific column value inside the table so the answer will be something by using get call method of wpdb we can get about any specific column value now let's say that we want to get all the results what we have inside this table. It means we are, going to, we are not going to select any specific value. We are not going to select any specific row. We are not going to select any specific column. Instead, we are going to select all the data what we have inside this table. So for all these values, we have to use called get results method. Back to editor. If I make comment of the, all these lines, let's say that all underscore post WPDP, let's say get results method. And inside this method, we need to write our query. So select, let's say star from, if I write WP underscore post, make some formatting, and let's say that print underscore R all underscore post so save all these changes back to browser reload this page now as we can see that inside this we are getting all the post what we have inside our table 
also if we want to select on only the id and the post title instead of all columns so we can specify the column names here let's say we want to select post id and let's say post title only so save all these changes go here reload this page now we are getting about the id post title id post title and so on inside this this is an array of object by the help of this object actually we can iterate and get all the value row by row using for each loop and also we can see that inside this array we are getting array of objects so in the same way we can convert this standard object into associative array format so from the last video we had seen that to convert the object into array format we need to pass let's say array underscore a as a second parameter it stands for array associative so if i save all these changes back to browser reload this page now we can see that the standard object is now converted into associative array format so by the help of this video session guys we had discussed about get where sorry get call and get results method so by the help of video number 9 and video number 10 we had actually seen about the basic concept of wpdb as well as we had seen some methods which takes data or take out data from our tables so in the next video we will see that how can we use prepared statements inside wpdb queries and also in upcoming videos by the help of some methods of insert update and delete of wpdb we will see that how can we insert any data update any data as well as delete any data so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day